Ya ho YouTube, I'm Super Genki and in today's video we're going to go over some practice questions for your jet interview. Last week I gave you some tips to keep the Genki in your jet interview. English, do you speak it? One of those tips was research, but rather than do the plain old plain old research, we're going to be doing something a little different. And look, young jetlings, it was a long time since my jet interview. I don't remember any of the questions that they asked me, but what I do remember is that the confidence plus the preparation made me stand out amongst other candidates, not as different as unique. That being said, let's jump into it. First question. Why do you want to work in Japan? Make your answer less about you and more about wanting to give back to Japan. It's easy to forget, but remember, this is a job and they are hiring you to be a cultural representative of your nation. That being said, innovate your reasons to show how Japan affected you individually. Why not Russia? Why not China? Why not any other country out there. What made Japan stick out from the rest of those countries? This one's really cool too. Talk about how the jet program like shot you off your couch and pushed you into action. When I came back on study abroad, I had already made my mind up. I already knew I was going to do jet. But how did you find out about the jet program? And what did you start doing in preparation for the application process? Second question. Where do you want to work in Japan? At this point in the process, you won't know where you're going to be placed. I applied for Kamigawa-ken in Yamanashi Prefecture and got placed in Kobe, one of Japan's most metropolitan cities. Try to focus on adaptability here and how would you adapt to being placed in say the countryside versus the city. If you have past experience living in Japan, say on study abroad, highlight that experience. If you talk about this experience and how it affected you, you're more than likely going to be placed in the same general vicinity of where you were last time. Don't quote me on this one, but it's my only rationale for being placed in Kobe when I applied for prefectures in Kanto. I lived in Kyoto for a year. I had already visited Kobe and they're both in Kansai. Try not to have any expectations here, unless it's about the weather. If it's about the weather, be sure to bring that up. Having expectations is a great way to be disappointed and let down. Remember, this is a job and the job needs you wherever it needs you. Third question. How can you give back to Japan? What personality traits do you have that can really make you shine? Having a positive attitude plus wanting to give back to the country already makes me like you more as an applicant. I'm going to just hammer this point again because it's so important. This is a job, guys. And your job, more than anything, is to be a cultural representative. So how would you bring your culture to the community? Fourth question. When did you know you wanted to work in Japan? Dates are really cool if you can integrate them into your stories because it highlights progression. Don't know if I used it in my jet interview, but I remember telling many of people in Japan that Naruto deeply impacted me when I was 11 years old. Look, isn't this really cool? These are actually earrings. I want to get my ears pierced just for the sole purpose of wearing these earrings. Also, Goksen. Oh my wow. I highly recommend watching it before you go to Japan. Or even if you're not going to Japan. It's just that good. Young Kumi, this girl right here, is my hero. If you can build yourself to the current moment, it shows drive rather than curiosity. Drive being one of the key components to progression. Starting young and building yourself to the current age is really cool, in my opinion. But if it was in Japan in the beginning, use other experiences that pushed you outside of your comfort zone to fuel the fire. Try to craft stories that show how each step that you took pushed you in this direction. And finally, question five, what got you interested in Japan? If it's anime, you know what to do. But an even better way to phrase that answer is showing how anime 
led you to something else. Say anime leads you to study abroad, leads you to a deeper appreciation for Japanese culture. I'll even give you a Japanese line that you can use in your interview. Anime no okage de nihon no dento bunka ga ki ni narimashita. Thanks to anime, I became more interested in traditional Japanese culture. I love Goksen, and I'm just gonna rub that again because it's just so awesome and Yankumi is just so cool! この人が私の大きいちゃん。ただいま。Anyway, guys, those are some questions that I thought would be beneficial for you to be integrating into your own jet preparations. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, or smash that like button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!